get ready with me. I didn't go to school today, but I really regret it because we're getting our needles today. And I literally have the biggest fear of needles. Like, the start of this term, I was just, like, worried about the needles. And then my friends texted me saying that we're getting our needles done today because they know how scared I am of needles. But it's not even, like, a good thing I missed it because now I'm going to go to, like, the doctors to get them done. And that's just going to be so much worse because I'm going to cry so much. Because I feel like the doctors are just, like, so much more scary. Like, I'd rather get them done at school. But one of my friends said that they're not doing everybody today. So hopefully I can get it done tomorrow. And the last time I got a needle was in year 7 and I literally fainted. Like, I went to walk away and I, like, basically fell over and I had to lie down. And then I nearly fainted when I got my belly button pierced as well. But I've, like, asked all my friends, like, that go to different schools, like, how the needles felt because they already got theirs. And they said it didn't hurt that bad. But my fear of needles started when I was at the dentist. And the dentist was, like, dressed up as a fairy and I had, like, a hot or cold tooth. And it gave me so many needles because my tooth wasn't, like, numbing yet. So she just kept giving me needles. So now I, like, hate needles so much. And before I even get it, I'm, like, crying already. Anyways, enough about needles. This girl I didn't really like tapped me on the shoulder and was, like, telling me about how my TikTok was on her for you page. I didn't really say much because I didn't want people at the school like knowing about my account. So I like walk away and then she comes up to me with my friend. And then she starts saying, get ready with me, get ready with me. And I was like, mm. and then I like told her to shut up. And then she was like, oh, your friend said that I should do it. And I was like, mm. but I found her account and I'm pretty sure I blocked her. I hope it's the right account though because she has no post. So I'm not really sure. Also, here's a really quick piercing to her people wanted that anyways bye guys oh my god if this mascara can do this i'm gonna stop wearing lashes okay let's do the other eye together this mascara is giving me a lift this is so volumizing seriously i'm not wearing lashes no more this is my new favorite mascara get ready with me for school i just realized i literally been 10 minutes like i did not know i didn't have that much time anyways guys happy monday um I'm pretty tired today. I went to bed late last night, but last night I think was the first time in like a whole school year that I've actually like done all my homework and got it all done at night. So I'm kind of proud of myself. I don't really know what I want to talk about today in this Get Ready With Me, but I do have something to say about like my viral video. So that one get ready with me where I was like, I don't want to wear this top today because I wore it the other day, blah, blah, blah. I didn't say that because I didn't want to wear the top ever again at school. I just said it because I had worn it like a few days before, like that Friday. And it was like that Wednesday or something. And I was like, okay, like I can't wear these tops like this close together. If you know what that means. Like, I re-wear tops all the time, but, like, everyone was, like, attacking me, and I was like, guys, guys, guys. So, no, I do not not wear the same thing all school year. That is absurd. I don't even have enough clothes to do that, but I just want to address that because people were, like, low-key getting pressed in my comment section. Also, yesterday, I literally found my homecoming dress when we went to the shop and I was trying stuff on, I was really worried that I wasn't going to find something because, like, nothing was looking good. And then the lady, this is why I love this shop, she just pulls this dress out of nowhere. Oh, my God. I'm not going to give any hints or anything, but all I'll say is this dress is so me. Like, I don't even think you guys understand how excited I am about this dress. Like, it is going to be so good. Homecoming is fun this weekend, but next. So, I have, like, a week to prepare and I don't really have to do anything else. I just have to get shoes to go with the dress. And I really have to start figuring out what I want to do for hair and makeup. So I have a little story time I've been wanting to tell you guys for a really long time while I'm getting ready. I just never like have had time, but I'm going to do it today. So basically a few weeks ago, I had my new Stanley Cup and I got a new one for this year. It's like a royal blue color. And basically the girls locker room is shared for like all sport, all girl sports basically. And so... I left my Stanley in there like everyone else does just throughout the day before practice. Then that day after school, I asked one of my friends that was still in the locker room to grab my water bottle for me because I forgot it. And she came back and she forgot it. And so I was like, okay, like I'll just get it tomorrow, which is Thursday. I didn't get it Thursday. And then I was like, I'll get it Friday. But then I left early on Friday. So I come back on Monday 
and I walk in the locker room and my Stanley's gone. And this was like in the morning before school, right? I've never seen anyone in this entire school with a Stanley cup that color. And I also wrote my initials on the bottom, but on the sticker of the water bottle. So I walk in my third period physics class. I take physics with freshmen because physics is a freshman course at my school. I cannot even make this up. This freshman cheerleader that shares the locker room with us has my freaking water bottle. I was so mad. So I go home to my parents and they're actually mad at me because they're like, why did you lose it? Why did you leave it? Blah, 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 blah. So then we end up telling the cheer coach and the AP. And so the AP pretty much called the girl's mom. And the girl's mom was like, oh my God, we have two at home. I mean, we have the exact same one. And she just thought that was hers and picked it up. Which is such a lie because I've never seen this girl show up with a different color Stanley cup. Anyway, her dad ended up bringing it up to the school and I got my Stanley back. But long story short, do not leave your stuff because even if you think people are nice, they will steal it. This is for you, Hannah. Okay, here's here's the outfit for today. It's just these high-waisted jeans with this little maybe top. Love you guys. Bye. Hi, guys. Get ready with me for game day. Okay, my face feels super dry, so I gotta slap the aquaphor on. This is OU's second game, but I didn't go to the first one because we played Arkansas State, and who cares about them? That sounds mean, but this game is SMU, and I'm from Dallas, so I feel like that makes it more fun. But I don't have a ticket, so I don't know what I'm going to do about that yet. Guys, look at my two little hairs. <laughs> so I'm hoping someone, like sells their ticket last minute or just gives it to me for free or else i'm gonna have to like sneak into the game which logistically don't know if that's gonna work but i don't know okay guys things to catch you up on i'm gonna start working working girl at glow tanning are we surprised nope so i've had to do training this whole week four hours straight, straight every day but i'm getting paid to do the training so that's nice it honestly is so hard though and i'm already so busy as it is that like now starting working is i don't know but i need money so i got to and ugh, free membership at glow tanning come on what more could you need wait guys should i be stressed that i don't have a ticket because i'm honestly not freaking out about it but now i'm like wait should i be freaking out about it i don't know this is so ella's outfit <laughs> Ella's in here and we're going to debrief our past couple nights because she's been hiding from me and hasn't spoken oh, to me in days. No. Guys, no, I, <laughs> I have bronchitis that I've had for months and I, it, I really struggle to breathe, but I haven't taken my antibiotics that the doctor gave me. So really it's my own fault. So, okay. Other, other update in my life. The boy, the boy, the boy, the boy. So since I last um, talked about him slash our dates on here. Wait, let me like think. Okay, so since I last talked about our dates to y'all, we haven't gone on like a planned, planned date since. Like we've gone to like lunch or like, um... Oh, we did two days. We did two days ago. It was BOGO for Starbucks. Buy one, get one free for fall drinks. So he took me and then I got two Starbucks drinks for myself. But the only reason we haven't gone on like plan, plan, really dates yet, or again, is because I'm just so busy, so I don't have time. But I'm so excited because next Friday, he planned a date. Did I tell you this? I don't know. Yeah. Um, and he said it's even better than our second date, like the charcuterie one or whatever. So I have no idea what this it's going to be. Man. And I'm a real man. I know. <laughs> Guys, I'm making him start watching The Bachelor slash like Bachelorette. He's never seen them ever before. And he hates it. And so I love it because it's so funny that he hates it. Wait, did that make sense? That didn't yeah. make sense. Should I delete it? So the rest I'm going to say is yay, game day. Woo, yeah. Oh, wait. Oh. Oh, mascara. Big Ooh. Little is next week. Who am I gonna get? Who am I gonna get? Okay, just finished my makeup. Yay, game time. Boomer sooner. You wanna say bye? Bye. It's crazy how, like, 
you never know if someone is being fake or lying to you like this just you don't know no matter how much you trust that person like you don't know no i have like one friend that i know for a fact i can trust and that's it a lot of girls like i see these tiktoks and these girls and they're like oh like i'll find everything out like i'll always find out and they're like fucking detectives like bro i wish i could do that like i literally just have no way of like i i don't find things out bro i'm i'm over here like not having a clue in the world to be honest i don't know if that makes sense but like i'm not on some crazy like detective shit i'm really not crazy i'm not like like, I'm sensitive and I'll get really sad, but I'm not gonna do some pretty shit. I was thinking yesterday, because I was in the car, and I could see the sunset, and I was like, wow, I wish I was in Naples on the beach watching that right now. And then I was like, that'd be so pretty, like, going on a date and being taken to watch the sunset on the beach and, like, having dinner and, I don't know. That was, that's just, that's cute. I'm not wearing mascara because like I really have to stop. My lashes are gonna die. I don't know if this happens to anyone else, but like I hate when I go to my following on TikTok and it's like like I just followed someone and all of their videos are there and I can't see what my friends are actually posting because it's only that one person's video. I just remembered me and my other friend in elementary, we had like a burn book because we watched Mean Girls. So we made a burn book. Oh my god, that's really bad. I drenched my face in sun spray. So basically tonight my friend invited like me and some of our other friends to her house and we're doing like the board I forgot what it's called, but it's like everyone brings something else and like I'm in charge of healthy foods. My friend's in charge of like um, Hispanic foods like empanadas and tequeños and all that. And my other friend is doing desserts. Another one is doing like chips and stuff. My other friend is doing like nachos. I'm doing healthy stuff. So look, this is my inspo pick. So I'll show you guys like when I'm with them tonight and I'll show you how how all our boards turned out. That would be cute. Look at the difference. This side like I put setting powder and this side is still like really glowy and when I have kids I wanna like be there with them. I don't wanna be an office mom, like I wanna be um, taking them to school, taking them to their friends' houses, picking them up, and all that, you know? So, I don't know. But, I was thinking, like, I want to do this thing where we go to the beach on Sundays. Like, I want to have a Sunday beach day. Of course, if they don't like going to the beach, like, obviously they don't have to. And if they have other plans, then obviously they don't have to. But, like, I think that would be so cute that, like, Sundays are family beach days. How satisfying that is also like I don't know I think I'll be a chill mom um I really I was thinking last night like when I was falling asleep you know how for our parents like they started I don't know kissing people and all that stuff like later than us and for them it's really weird saying that now kids and like middle school or smoking and and kissing people you know what i mean and i was thinking like are our kids gonna do that in elementary like is that how it's gonna be because oh my god if my kid comes from home from elementary school and told me that like their friend gave them a vape in the bathroom i'm gonna be like I usually wouldn't do this much makeup for school, but since I'm gonna stop wearing mascara, I know I'm gonna feel ugly, so I wanna like make up for it with a little more makeup. You know what I mean? Okay, bye guys.
get ready with me for school. So yesterday I didn't make a video and I woke up on time to make a video. I just didn't feel like it. Like I was super tired yesterday. It was so bad. I almost like missed school because I was so tired. And today I got like that worst feeling in the morning where you just like wanna like, it's like cold in your room and like you're so warm and comfortable. And I was like so tired. I just wanted to cry. So that's why I didn't make a video yesterday because I was super tired and like was not functioning properly. <laughs> but today's Friday. So whenever I come home from school, I'm gonna take the fattest nap of my life. I feel like my curls are actually curling today. The last time I curled my hair, they looked so bad. Like the last time I curled my hair, I did it with a beach waver and I hated it. That just goes to show the beach waver is not worth it, guys. I used my sister's and I didn't like it. But if it like works for you, it's fine. It just, you know, didn't work for me and it came out really bad. I feel like the bronzy drops make me look super tan, not gonna lie. I really need to go to Target and Sephora to go get some new mascara because I'm running so low on mine and my lashes just aren't working. I'm also running low on my favorite concealer ever. I think whenever I go to Sephora, I'm going to get a new concealer. A lot of you guys recommended the NARS one, so I'm either going to get that or I'm just going to stick to the Tarte one. I also need to get a different shade because this shade that I have is from like 7th grade during summer so it's kind of like not my shade it's like orangey looking but it blends out fine surprisingly like i don't like it never like comes out bad guys i'm running low on the setting spray it's okay though because i think i'm gonna get the jumbo one i also think i'm gonna get the full sized in the setting powder because the setting powder actually isn't that bad like i thought i wasn't gonna like it but i actually really like it Okay, I'm really not a pro at using setting powder, but someone told me to do the pink and, like, the pink side. And they just said to, like, put it in the oily areas. So I'm, like, really oily around my nose. So I think I'm gonna put it there. Um, I think I just found a gray hair in my hair, and I'm gonna try not to overthink that. There's, like, something in my eye, and, like, I can't see. This is why I hate contacts. Like, there's always stuff in my eye. And I'm fully convinced the reason I can't see is because I tried somebody's glasses on in, like, second grade. That's probably not the case, but I swear I'm fully convinced it wasn't my fault for not being able to see. My lip gloss is turning pink. Lip gloss is, like, so fun, but it, like, comes off in 10 minutes. So now I'm gonna go take an hour to figure out what outfit I'm wearing. Okay, so this is what I'm wearing because I've literally struggled for hours and can't figure out anything else. But I'm pretty sure this is from like Aeropostale, I don't know.